What is an exposed conductive part? Definition, meaning, examples. Welcome back, dear viewers, to another informative episode. Today, we're diving deep into the world of electrical safety, focusing on a crucial aspect known as exposed conductive parts. Let's start at the beginning. Exposed conductive part is a conductive part of equipment that can be touched and that is not live under normal conditions, but that can become live when basic insulation fails. The British Standard BS 7671 defined the term in question in much the same way as IEC 60050-195-2021. Exposed conductive part, conductive part of equipment which can be touched and which is not normally live, but which can become live under fault conditions. The term exposed conductive part refers to those conductive parts of electrical equipment which are accessible to the touch and which, unlike live parts, are not under voltage in normal conditions when all means of protection are intact, including the basic insulation. A person in a building has numerous contacts with exposed conductive parts during which he or she is not exposed to the risk of electric shock. In a single fault condition, when the basic insulation of a hazardous live part is damaged, an exposed conductive part may become voltage. It will then pose a real danger to a person who touches an exposed conductive part and could receive a dangerous electric shock. Examples of exposed conductive parts As an example, exposed conductive parts primarily include metal enclosures and touchable fittings of Class 0 and Class I equipment, such as the metal housings of refrigerators, washing machines, electric stoves, metal fittings of fixtures, etc. Exposed conductive parts are separated from live parts by means of basic insulation. Therefore, exposed conductive parts are parts of Class 0 and Class I electrical equipment, e.g. their metal sheaths. The accessible conductive parts of Class II electrical equipment, such as their metal sheaths, are separated from the live parts by double insulation, which is the combination of basic and supplementary insulation or the equivalent reinforced insulation. In the event of damage to the basic insulation or partial damage to the reinforced insulation of live parts, the accessible conductive parts of Class II electrical equipment are not live and therefore do not present a danger to humans. They are therefore not exposed conductive parts. IEC Standard 61140, which classifies low-voltage electrical equipment in terms of protection against electric shock and lays down the fundamental requirements for electrical equipment of classes 0, 1, 2, 3, refers to the conductive parts in question as accessible conductive parts of class 2 electrical equipment. The accessible conductive parts of class 3 electrical equipment, which are their metal sheaths, must not be regarded as exposed conductive parts either. Class 3 equipment operates at extra low voltages. Its live parts are not hazardous live parts and cannot cause a dangerous electric shock. The insulation of the live parts of Class 3 electrical equipment is not basic insulation because basic insulation is the insulation of the hazardous live parts. Therefore, the metal sheaths of Class 3 electrical equipment cannot be exposed conductive parts. What is a conductive part? A conductive part is an electrical component that allows current to flow through it. Current is the flow of electrons, and it is what powers electronic devices. Conductive parts are made of materials that allow electrons to flow freely, such as metal. Conductive parts are essential to the functioning of any electronic device. They help to create circuits, which are pathways for current to flow. Without conductive parts, electronic devices would not be able to operate. Conductive parts come in a variety of shapes and sizes, and they can be found in almost any type of electronic device. The most common type of conductive part is the wire. Wires are used to connect different components together and create circuits. Is a water pipe an exposed conductive part? Some people believe that water pipes are exposed conductive parts, but this is not the case. Water pipes are not considered to be exposed conductive parts because they are not intended to carry an electrical current. Additionally, water pipes are not generally made of conductive materials. If a water pipe were to come into contact with an exposed conductive part, it would not create an electrical hazard. Do exposed conductive parts need bonding? 
It's a common misconception that all exposed conductive parts ECPs, in electrical equipment need to be bonded. The truth is, only certain ECPs require bonding, and the NEC provides clear guidance on which ones need to be bonded and how to properly bond them. Here's a quick overview of when bonding is required for ECPs. 1. All ECPs that are part of the electrical circuit and are intended to come into contact with humans or animals must be bonded. This includes any ECPs that could become energized due to a fault in the equipment or system. 2. Any ECP that is not part of the electrical circuit but could become energized due to a fault in the equipment or system must also be bonded. 3. Any ECP that is not part of the electrical circuit but could become energized due to contact with another conductive object must also be bonded. 4. Finally, any ECP that is not part of the electrical circuit but could become energized due to inductive or capacitive coupling must also be bonded. Is the metal conduit an exposed conductive part? Metal conduit can be considered as an exposed conductive part in electrical installations. An exposed conductive part is a conductive element that is not intended to carry electrical current, but can become energized in case of a fault in the installation. In electrical systems, metal conduit serves as a protective housing for electrical wires and cables, and can also function as an electrical conductor in certain configurations. When metal conduit is used as a conductor, it must be properly sized and rated to carry the electrical current without overheating or causing other hazards. However, even when not used as a conductor, metal conduit can still become energized and pose a risk to personnel or equipment, and therefore it must be properly grounded and bonded to minimize the risk of electric shock or fire. Thank you for joining us on this educational journey. Until next time, stay informed, stay safe, and keep exploring the amazing world of science and technology. Be sure to like and share this video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.